All right, this drill is the step behind, the fourth drill in the, in the uh, pitching mechanic progression here. Jack's gonna start with his feet, a little wider than shoulder width. He's in a power position here. He's on plane, his arms are equal and opposite. What we're bring, doing is bringing forward all the drills we've done so far into the step behind. When Jack starts to go forward with his back leg, he's gonna step behind his front leg. Then he's gonna bring his left foot back towards the direction he's throwing. Keep in mind, he's on line here to the target. And then he's gonna go ahead and release the ball. And fall forward, bending his back. Strong glove. Go ahead and throw it back. Good. Let's try it again. It's important to get your front leg out as far as you can when you start to come forward and throw. There we go, good. Hold that firm back glove up. Let's try it one more time. Get behind. Good. Good. There's a lot of a lot of reasons to do a step behind. One of them is to get some distance on the stride length. The back foot comes behind the front foot. It forces two things. It forces the, the forces the, the stride to really go hard towards its target. And the next thing it does is it really forces it forces you to come over the front side. So there's a there's a finishing point. There's a finishing point that you want to get to. You come through here, stride, and come over. Make the letter T with your lower half and your upper body. And then the purpose of the bat that I have on the ground here is to force the player to think about the distance they need to put into their throw and put into their follow. So the step behind, the stride, the release, and the follow at least two or three steps to a good finishing position.